Welcome to this new class. We will continue by the belt. We will try to create the buckle. This part and then the specific buckle. Later we will proceed to add a little bit of detail to the buckle. And the first what I want to do is adjust a little bit this belt for have a better idea about the size of the buckle. Here in the inferior part, I add the C modular option. I'll show you how do I ubicate this brush on this little panel. I'll go to Preferences, then Enable Customize. Here, and by using Ctrl Alt, I drag the brush. In this case, I delete it. Control Alt, click and drag it. Remember that. Now I like it, so I'll go to Preferences and then Store Config. Then you click the Enable Customize again. Well, I will create the vocal. For that, I will add a cube. Insert 3D cube and we will use the initialize option. Remember that on the past class I lose the belt? Well, it is because when I use the initialize, it will replace the geometry that I have selected on that moment. So, the past class, what happened was the cube that I insert replace the belt and I use that cube for create the buckle. I will resize this cube for have a better idea about the size that I need. Add this here. We need it thinner. I'll move a little piece. Here we need to create a an edge, a round edge, on this shape that we have. On this case, I will rotate this model. Well, generally, you will not rotate it because you need the symmetry and try to get a shape and volume. But I guess that it doesn't matter for now. For add a subdivision, I press Ctrl D because it will smooth the surface and that could help, but it round the complete shape and we don't need it like that. And for fix that, I will go to C modular and I will add an edge loop close to the edge that I want to keep. So for that, I'll select an edge and then I'll press Edge Loop and Insert. Now I will add an Edge Loop on this zone and then I will add a subdivision and as you can see here we keep 
the shape on the part that we add the edge loop. I will do the same at the other side. Control D. And now I've got a shape more close to this other. I like there. There looks pretty good. So careful with the subdivisions because it will not allow me to use the SC modeler. That's why I add the subdivision and then I press Ctrl C. It is some kind of preview. Well, now I will create the volumes for add the other part of the buckle. And for that I will duplicate this cube. I will rename it as buckle number two. I'll press Ctrl C and then I'll go to the polygon. Oh well look here what happened. It modifies on a second the basic mesh. I'll press Ctrl C. Ctrl C here too. Then I will duplicate it because I need that rectangle form for create the other part of the buckle. In this case I press twice Ctrl D and rename it as buckle number two. Now we've got the basic shape. Here I will make this thinner. What I want to get is the first shape. It's this one, the one who have contact with the belt. I'll make it thinner. And I will adjust this rounded shape. A easy way to do this is... I'll select any kind of brush from the front of the form and I will create a mask right here. I press Control, I go to stroke and select rect and what I want to modify it's the inner part so for that I'll press Control click outside it will invert the mask and I will resize it a bit for create the shape Well, now I press Ctrl C for add the subdivisions first and then the mask. There I like it. Now I'll select these polygons right here. Then I'll invert. Well, no. I want to extrude these polygons. What do I want to do? Is go to C modeler and delete this line in the middle. Well, I just want to have two polygons here. And I'll go to C modeler, then press Alt, and it will delete the poly loop. Sorry, the polygon. Now, by using Alt, it will create a selection. So I select that polygons by using Alt and press Extrude and Single Poly. And the tool will extrude the selection that I did by using the Alt key. I go too fast. If you wanted, you could stop the video. And on this case, I will use Ctrl. I will select the polygon that I need and I will pull it out of it. Of 
because that shape it is not at all a straight line. Here moves out and then out again just a bit. And I'll extrude again these polygons. I go here, go to mask, then invert the selection. Remember that it is a Desi model option, not a brush. So I'll use Alt for a select. Now I'll extrude this and it is thinner at the tip, so I'll select these two polygons by using mask, invert and resize. There is easy. Now I'll select these two polygons by using C modeler and Alt. And I will select the inset option without the R. And here I activate the option inset and and select the region option. So it will do this to all polygons that I selected. I'll check here the reference. I guess that we needed more in the middle. There is fine. Now what I will do is select a polygon, then press extrude. And then I press polygroup and Iceland. So it will select the polygroup that is the same color and Iceland will select it together. So it will extrude it and move it a little bit in. And on this case I'll press Ctrl D for preview the result. What do we need here? Add a couple of polygons for keep the angles, we don't need the curve. So I'll press Ctrl C. Well, where the polygons will help? Here. Insert another here. Another. And another here. Try to secure the corners from every side. Here looks pretty good, but on this side it is very rounded. I'll check the reference. We will add another edge on the zone, Ctrl D, and now it looks pretty good. We've got a good result. We've got the buckle and the other part of the buckle. I will add a couple of Ctrl D for have a good mesh. The next class we will add details to the vocal and then we will add more shape to the first belt, the base of the belt. And the next class we will finish this belt. And we will adjust the pockets too, without more. See you next class.